Well, hello, hello. You know I'm excited to be here, right? I was supposed to do a video with Marvin on Christmas Day. He's back there in the background watching something on television. I keep disturbing him because every five minutes I'm like, honey, I'm getting ready to do my video. But he's so patient. I'm sure he didn't get on his nerves. Well, he's patient most of the time. <laughs> but anyway, so I missed you guys. And I was just listening to this song by Richard Smallwood in the background called Thank You. I love this song. It has two parts this so long. Hold on, I'm going to play some of it for you. So like when you just want to get into praise and worship and you want to hear from God, you know you got to find that song that works for you. So I'm going to turn it down right quick. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so... I hope you got everything that you wanted for Christmas. I I don't I didn't want anything. I think we talked about that, but I got some great stuff. I didn't get my beach house yet, but I plan to. I didn't get a Phantom Rose Wars yet, but I plan to. <laughs> I'm waiting on God, right? So when I woke up yesterday morning, this is the word that God gave me for you. I knew it would be for today. I was super excited about it because I have been waking up late. And I was like, God, I, please don't stop talking to me. But, you know, that's where we start, like, um, getting down on ourselves because we're not doing, you know, exactly as we should be or doing things, you know, like we were. Or sometimes we just look for perfection. I'm a perfectionist. So I have to just cut, my, cut myself some slack sometimes, right? So what happened was I've been getting up at 530 instead of like 435 o'clock. But God said if you wake up early every morning, he didn't say what time. I put a time to it, right? But I wanted to be before 6 o'clock. And that's just me because spiritually it talks about the watch hours. And we talked about that in another video. But when I woke up, this is the word that God gave me for you. Um, and so I want you to listen to listen to it through the end so if you need to stop it come back and listen to it because it's really important and I really want you to have this message going into 2017 um, because this is the word of the Lord concerning all of us and specifically concerning you so I wanted to share it with you so I heard the Lord say that many of you have babies that are past due meaning many of you should have given birth by now However, your babies are past their due dates and they are beyond their due dates, says the Lord of hosts. When I sat down to read the scriptures and to read God's word before sharing with you in writing this morning, I turned to Isaiah 66, 7 and 14. Just by happenstance, I was turning the pages yet as because I was trying to figure out like what am I going to read? And I'm still reading from this, but I just wanted to take a break to share with you. I was trying to figure out what I was going to read, and it just so happened that it, the um, that I turned to Isaiah 66 7 through 14, and it said, uh, and so God is always leading and guiding us, and He's always leading and guiding me to what He wants me to share with His people, right? Not what I want to share, but what He wants to share. So I was like, wow. When I woke up to write what thus saith the Lord, I heard the Lord again say, many of you have babies that are past due. And then he leads me to Isaiah, right? So it says before, so this is Isaiah 66 and 7. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a son. Who has ever heard such a thing? Who has ever seen such things? Can a country be born in a day or a nation brought forth in a moment? Yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord. Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says your God. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her and be glad for her. All you who love her, rejoice greatly with her, all you who mourn over her, for you will nurse and be satisfied at her comforting breast. You will drink deeply and delight in her overflowing abundance, for this is what the Lord says. I will extend peace to her like a river, and the wreath of, I'm sorry, and the wealth of nations like a flooding stream. So he said in, in that scripture, I will extend peace to her like a river and the wealth of nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm and dandled on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. And you will be comforted over Jerusalem. When you see this, your heart will rejoice and you will flourish like grass. 
my Bible's commentary stated it this way. So, you know, the section down there in the lower part of your Bible, depending on how your Bible is set up, but mine is at the bottom. And the commentary said it like this. God will not leave his work of national restoration unfinished. In this image of birth, God shows us that, that he will accomplish what he has promised. It is as unstoppable as the birth of a baby. When all the pain is over, the joy begins. I love that. It said, God shows that he will accomplish what he has promised. It is as unstoppable as the birth of a baby. When all the pain is over, the joy begins. So I wanted to go back to where it said the word yet. Y'all know I got to read my own handwriting, so give me a second. Okay, it says, yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. So I wanted to see what does the word yet mean. Yet means up until now or up until the present, still, even further, in addition or additionally, but nevertheless, by now or then or in spite of. But yet, no, those are the meanings of yet the word yet. Yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Zion is referred to in the word of God as the city of David. So I looked up Zion, like what does that mean? Where is it? How, how does that relate in this scripture? So Zion is referred to in the word of God as the city of David, a fortified area, the city of the, li of the living God, God's spiritual kingdom, the city of the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. It is, the, it is time, the Lord's servants, to give birth to your children. What children do you say? So I want to read that to you one more time because I kind of ran that together. But Zion is referred to in the word of God as the city of David or a fortified city, the city of the living God, God's spiritual kingdom, the city of the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. So this is where God continued to give me his word. Um, concerning you it says it is time the Lord's servant to give birth to your children what children do you say the children of promise the children that God has promised wealth ministries churches sons and daughters in the kingdom possessions promises life and joy everlasting salvation eternal life push press down before you go into labor you will give birth before the pains come, you will deliver a son. So I want to read that to you one more time because I want you to get it, right? What God is saying. It is time, the Lord's servant, to give birth to your children. What children do you say? The children of promise. The children that God has promised. So what are the things that God has promised? He's promised you wealth ministries, churches, sons and daughters in the kingdom, possessions, promises, life and joy everlasting, salvation, eternal life, push, press down. Before you go into labor, you will give birth. Before the pains come, you will deliver a son. Stop lying and wait and give birth to your sons and daughters. Birth to your promises from God. Birth to your destiny. Birth to all that God has called you to do. God's word said that I just read to you in Isaiah, do I, bring the mo do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery? Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery? Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says your God? Stop delaying your birth. Stop delaying your own deliverances. Your baby is due to be born and your promises, they have been delayed long enough. The Lord completes his work and finishes his tasks. Come into your completion. Walk it out in complete obedience. For the word of the Lord says you will drink deeply, meaning very satisfyingly, and delight in overflowing abundance. This is the word of the Lord concerning you, says the Lord of hosts. In Jesus' holy and matchless name, I pray in agreement with you. I love you, and I hope you have an amazing, happy new year, because when I speak to you again, it will be 2017, be it the will of God. We love you, and God bless you. Bye.